helps his standing with the rest of the players as well. When the manager? Yeah, I think so. I think everybody knows where they stand. If you step out of line, this fella isn't messing about. You know, you, you, you're not going to be involved. You're going to be fine, whatever it, it may be. You're going to be left out of, uh, of games today. And he's, he's done it to his best player today. So, you know, there's no, there's just totally no messing about with him. And you've got to give him credit for that. And you look at it, has he done anything that bad, really? Maybe a little bit of uh, timekeeping? Sure. Because he's coming at half time anyway and changed the game like we all thought he would do. Luke Shaw said, though, that's the way it has to be because that was part of the problem in the past. Yeah, it sounds like he was alluding to the last couple of years, maybe, where players possibly got away mm. with things they shouldn't have done. And they know now that they can't do that. If, they, if they're going to be messing about, they're not going to be in this team. He did it with Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, one of the, the best players we, mm. we've ever seen. He, he doesn't care who it is. Reputations, it doesn't matter how well they're doing for the team at the time. It doesn't matter. They have to toe the line, and I like that. But that, that translates onto the pitch's role. How many times do we sit in the studio looking at games and going, they look like they don't care, some of these players. They look like they're not putting as much effort as they could do. Or they don't chase things down because there were no consequences before. Now, mm. whether off the pitch or on it, there's going to be consequences in terms of your bad performance or not, not enough effort or not understanding what he wants. You're going to find that in terms of team selection in the next game.